Hi everyone, I'm just jumping in to announce that we have a new show that's joining Jungian Anthology. Um, the show is Jungian Ever After, and it's a discussion between Adina Davidson, who is a Jungian analyst and member of our Chicago Society of Jungian Analysts, and Riza Cabrera. This show will be shared on our feed alongside our other shows, and they have seven episodes so far. So it will take a little bit for our feed to catch up with theirs, but we will. Um, if you want to go directly to uh, their show feed, it's hosted on Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts, and we'll share those links in the show notes. Um, you can also Google it or search for it in your podcast app. So this first episode is their introduction. Um, and then because uh, it, to me it makes sense to just share their first full episode right after that, uh, you're going to get two episodes of your podcast feed at once. Oh, I should say, it's going to look a little bit different than our other shows in terms of the description, if that makes a difference to you. Um, they have their own Ko-Fi or coffee or however it's pronounced, which is sort of like a Patreon. Um, so, you know, you can link to that. Um, and there's going to be other stuff in there, their Twitter and Discord and things like that. Um, so if you're interested in that, just look in the description and all that information will be there. Okay, thanks. Hello, listeners. Welcome to episode zero of Jungian Ever After. Rather than simply starting with episode one, we wanted to give you a short introduction to both ourselves as hosts and also the format of the show and our motivations in making it. I'll go ahead and start with myself. I'm Raisa Esperanza Cabrera. I will be filling the role of layperson or perhaps fairy tale enthusiast. I enjoy fairy tales quite a bit and might know more than the average person, but the information I'll be bringing will mostly relate to pop culture, movie adaptations, and perhaps some history that can be found from a quick Google search. So to give our show title legitimacy, I am joined by my mother-in-law, Dr. Adina Davidson. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell everyone what you do? So I'm... Adina Davidson. I'm a family therapist and also a Jungian analyst, which means that I have a deep interest in the unconscious. Oh, and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I have a private practice in Cleveland, Ohio. And yeah, that's me, <laughs> I guess. So when I first came to you with this idea, what were sort of your first thoughts? Why is it that you wanted to do this? So I really love fairy tales and myth. For me, the thing that most uniquely makes us human is that we are storytelling animals. Telling our stories is how we make meaning out of our lives and our experiences. And fairy tales and myths in particular are our collective stories. They're the stories of all of humanity. So not only do they help us make meaning out of our lives, but they also give us glimpses into the deep structures of psyche. And for me, they carry numinosity. I don't encounter a fairy tale or a myth that doesn't just make my skin prickle a little. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's why fairy tales, at least. Why I wanted to do this with you is, well, because we both love fairy tales. We both love to talk about fairy tales. You know, I know that you are a maker right? You make jewelry, you make glass, you make podcasts. I'm kind of a talker and a dreamer in a way, <laughs> you know? Like I would have thought, oh, it would be so great to make a podcast for five years and would never have actually <laughs> bought any of the equipment or... And I think in that way, we're a really lovely team, you know? I also... When I think about podcasts that work for me, I think podcasts that are conversations. 
are the ones that I enjoy the most, which makes sense being an analyst, right? Sure. I love conversation, period. Uh, but also just, I just think for that format, the conversation is the liveliest way to do it. And then, you know, we're family, we're, we're friends. It was, wanted to do it with you, wanted to have a project that the two of us could do together. Yeah, so that's why fairy tales and why this particular partnership. For me, I went out and I was looking for a way to listen to fairy tales, some kind of audio experience since I don't do much printed word anymore. And the most viewed thing I saw on YouTube was the most dry, boring reading I could possibly have imagined. And it had tons and tons of views. Clearly, I'm not the only one out there looking for listening to grim fairy tales. I feel like many of us who enjoy these stories at some point want the original, as it were, or sort of the, the not disney version of the stories. And so when I went out there and I looked for an audio version and it was just like so boring to listen to, it was just like almost for putting yourself to sleep. I thought, well, maybe I could do a reading of, of the story. And then taking that one step further, we thought you could provide a Jungian analysis. So I, that's really going to be our back and forth is I will bring sort of the regular person's viewpoint coming in, maybe sort of a pop culture viewpoint or a fan kind of viewpoint. We are hoping to do this once a month. And we're just beginning with Grimm's fairy tales. They are within the public domain. You should be able to find them for free on the internet, number of locations, but we can link places where you can find the stories if, if you would like. I would also say that for those of you who are particularly interested in myth and fairy tale, you might have heard of an author named Joseph Campbell, who was a Jungian but also a very famous mythologist completely in his own right. And he has a complete edition of Grimm's fairy tales, which he wrote an introduction to, which, you know, so if you want to, if you want to take this one step farther, that's sort of a fun version to have. Absolutely. And we're going to sort of take this as it comes, play it by ear, whatever, we may eventually have guests, other analysts, other makers, people like myself who are just really into fairy tales. Um, but for now, it's just going to be the two of us. If it really picks up, we may run out of material and have to move from Grimm on to other mythology or fairy tales, and we'll sort of see how that develops. We're going to try and keep these... Uh, under an hour, ideally, but we'll sort of have to figure out the format, particularly if some stories just take a while to read. One thing that I would actually add to that is to say that we're always going to start off with a reading of the fairy tale. And at least for the time being, Race is going to do that because these stories were all meant to be listened to. Grimm actually gathered oral tradition and wrote it down, but they're really meant to be heard aloud. And I think that it's really valuable to allow that time to let the material sink in before you sort of go into a more intellectual analyzing, thinking about perspective. So we're always going to start there. We will always have some Jungian perspective, what does this say either about our own psyche or about the re relationships of people to other people. And we will probably usually have some comparison between Grimm, which is sort of the closest to the oral tradition that we have access to, and the more 20th and 21st century versions of the group. So that's kind of the format that we're, we're planning on. And I have a question for you, Raisa. Is sure. there a way that people can reach us if they have questions or comments? 
Yes, you can reach us at jungianeverafter at gmail.com or on Twitter at J-E-A underscore podcast. There's also a link to our Discord in our Twitter's profile. And I say our here, but to be frank, I manage the socials. So if you want to reach Adina uh, through those mediums, it will be a bit of a conduit through me situation. Definitely don't try to reach me on Twitter. I'm, I'm tweet free. But I would really welcome, I think we would both really welcome questions and comments. And I think it would be, as time goes on, it would be really exciting to incorporate those into the show. Yeah. I think that pretty much does it for the intro here. Looking forward to talking to you guys all about fairy tales over the next few months. And we look forward to your feedback now. While this concludes the intro, through the magic of editing, episode one is already available. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and give it a listen.